Reef Bum is sponsored by Champion Lighting and Supply, Polo Reef, and Fauna Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So I flip-flopped. I have, um, I have uh, flip-flopped on a decision I made a few months ago to get rid of a few of my tanks. In a, uh, in a prior video a while ago, I stated that I was gonna be breaking down my 187 gallon display tank as well as the two frag tanks. Plumbed into that display tank, but I've changed my mind and, and my, my, my mind changed rather slowly over the last few months. So just uh, refresh your memories if you, if you don't know. I um, wanted to cut back a lot of the work that I was doing in terms of maintaining all of my tanks. Um, I have five tanks, two display tanks. The Peninsula tank is one tank with a 50 gallon frag tank plumbed into that. Then the 187 gallon tank behind me with a 75 gallon frag tank and a 50 gallon frag tank plumbed into that. So that was the system that I was gonna break down to ease the burden of the maintenance that I was uh, doing, spending you know spending a lot of time on maintenance on my tanks, so I um, I gave it a lot of thought, and in terms of the Peninsula tank, that display tank and that frag tank, I thought you know what, maybe it would be good to have a full time quarantine system going, so when I bring in new SPS frags or other corals, then I could you know have a dedicated system that can um, you know, be utilized to make sure that I'm not bringing in any uh, pests. So I, I had been using a 20 gallon quarantine tank that I had been breaking down when, when I wasn't using it, then using, you know, and then setting it up when I brought in some frags. So I, the, the long and the short of it is I, I decided, to, you know what, why not hold on to the equipment for the uh, display tank and just run one of the frag tanks and I wanted to just basically keep the 75 gallon frag tank and use that as my quarantine tank. Keep the dream box with the, uh, the skimmer, UV sterilizer, filtration, what, you know, all, all the stuff that I've been running all three tanks off. Let's just keep all that stuff. And my thinking is, you know what, if I got rid of it all, I'd probably um, sell it for 20 cents on the dollar. Be, um, be tough if I wanted to get, uh, you know, change my mind down the road and buy a new, a new tank and new equipment. It's gonna be very expensive. So um, yeah, I guess I could put the stuff in storage, but I don't really have the, uh, the space for the storage for the tank and all the equipment. I mean, I could find room, but it's, uh, it, would be, uh, it would be a challenge, especially a fish tank, because I don't wanna store it in, a, uh, in the garage where it's just gonna be really, really, really cold here in the winter time in Vermont. So I thought, you know what, all right, so I'm gonna keep the 75 gallon frag tank and all the equipment, run that uh, as, a, uh, as a quarantine system. But then when I started fragging stuff out of the uh, 187 gallon display tank to break it down, as well as fragging all the stuff from my peninsula tank <clears throat> to do that reset, I found that I had a lot of frags and I needed um, all the space that I could possibly you know, imagine needing to house all those frags. So all the frag tanks at this point are just chock full of uh, corals. So, you know, then I, I started thinking, well, you know what? It's not gonna be any um, more work to hold on to not only the 75 gallon frag tank um, for this system, but also to the uh, hold on to the 50 gallon frag tank, right? I mean, it's, they're, they're both running on the same system. So it really would not be that much extra work. And who knows? You know, once I um, start replanting the uh, the frag or replanting my display tanks with frags, it could help to have that extra um, space. So I started shifting gears and it was like, all right, so I'm going to hold on to the 75 gallon frag tank. Let's hold on to the 50 gallon frag tank as well. So now instead of getting rid of three tanks, I'm only getting rid of one, which was the um, display tank behind me. But then I'm thinking again, like, all right, sell that display tank not going to get a lot of money for, for that tank uh, in terms of what I paid for it. And again, how much extra work would it be to have the, um, the tank if it's plumbed into the same system as the frag tanks? Additionally, I have so many corals in my collection that uh, I'm not sure that I could 
you know, plant them all in the peninsula tank. I think even though the peninsula tank is 225 gallons, I got many more different types of frags, corals, to put into um, that tank than it can hold. So the thinking now is, all right, hold on to the 187 gallon display tank and um, use that extra space to plant more frags in your collection because I just hate to get rid of stuff that I've um, really worked hard to find and bring in and um, nurture and raise and frag. It, it, they kind of, um, each, each frag is, uh, each type of coral that I have is very special to me. So I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna, I am not gonna break down any tanks. I'm gonna run both systems as I have been running them, as I, uh, you know, have been running them in, in the past. And, um, you know, I, I did a, um, a seven day blackout on the 187 gallon display tank because I was having some cyano issues. There was even some cyano in the uh, frag tanks plumbed into that system. The seven day uh, blackout's been going on. Well, I, I did that blackout. It's been about um, a month since I did that. The cyano has not returned. I also really cleaned up the, uh, the 75 gallon and the 50 gallon frag tanks. Scraped a lot of coralline algae off the bottom, off some of the, uh, the sides, which I think was, um, you know, th those surfaces were, uh, were pretty rough, and I think they were also areas where cyano was um, collecting on, and it was tough to kind of siphon that sort of um, the cyano out off of those, uh, those surfaces and those tanks. So everything is, uh, is a lot cleaner, and, um, you know, knock on wood, the cyano hasn't really come back. It wasn't bad cyano. It was just kind of this pesky little cyano that I would have to um, siphon up here or there and, and blow off with a power head. So uh, yeah, I, um, I am switching gears. I'll give it, uh, I'll give it a year and, and see what, what, uh, what happens, what develops. I could always go back to my uh, original plan to break down tanks to make life easier. But at this point in time, I'm kind of stoked to have some, some um, you know, uh, a blank slate, not only with this tank, but the 225 gallon tank. So I'm gonna have two uh, tanks that um, probably in a, in a month, month and a half, I am going to um, replant frags in, which will be really exciting. I just wanna give it some more time to, uh, to settle in. After the seven day blackout on this display tank, I got a, um, a bit of an ugly phase where I had some, um, some, some other type of green algae that uh, was uh, persistent on the rocks, but the, uh, the snails have kind of cleaned all that up and the uh, peninsula tank, you know, was also showing some, uh, some signs. So it was, it was, you know, a lot of things were, um, um, I, I took a lot of corals out of the system and I had to be very careful in terms of the, the balance of both tanks to make sure that the, uh, the ecosystems were, uh, were not gonna be jarred too much. So I'm just taking my time, taking it slow and, um, yeah, so once again, plans have changed, but it should be exciting moving forward. So that's an update on that uh, system. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.